bring you NHS 11, brought to you by Gucci Gaming. As always. Good games, better stream. Gucci Gaming for Big House. Uh, you know six. that? You're damn right I know that. Wow. <laughs> he had to come back on mic to say that. <laughs> <laughs> he was so caught off guard. All right, but anyways, we got game one starting right away. Nickel Cat versus DK Dude Man. Now, I just talked to them. There's mixed opinions on this matchup. DK Doomman thinks it might be even or even slightly in Peach's favor when like, when I look at it, I feel like Greninja wins just like because of the fair, basically. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like his data just really kind of gives him the edge in this matchup. That's what I feel, but I really don't know enough about each, any of these characters. You know, I really don't know. This is not a, this is not a matchup I've really seen or yeah. commentated before, so um, it's something I'd have to look into. But honestly, I can kind of see maybe if DK Doomman is just able to just stay out of of uh, Nick's range here and just kind of camp around him and is able to avoid hits. Well, well look, look what's happening right now. Yeah. DK Doomman apparently knows how, like what he's doing. But it's going to take some work from uh, DK Doomman to close out this stock because he's in no way is he going to be gimping Nick here. Yeah, not with not with his ability to recover. He could read in there, read like uh, Nick Cat off stage. But exactly. That's about it. Yeah, exactly. Nick it's going to take some serious edge guarding. Nick Cat brought this back fast. It was just like 10% to 86%, and now like they're basically even. Yeah, exactly. I feel like both these characters rack up damage just so fast. Oh yeah, you can blink. You, we can blink, and it's even already just yeah. after that huge lead. But uh, getting these fares and right to the face. I, mean, I feel like whoever gets the first kill is going to have a huge edge. Just yeah, absolutely. Because how much damage they can react on each other. Oh, oh I no! Can see, I can see Peach having a problem with the water shuriken too. That forces Peach to approach. Luckily for DK Doomman, no. She has some decent approach options. She does. Kind of just flow, and you know, it's kind of assault with the fair, and maybe some dares. She use her aerials to kind of try to overpower uh, Nick here, but yeah, you probably have to play this matchup different than like most matchups that Peach plays. They get some matchups like it's better for Peach just to kind of like float there and wait for like their opponent to approach. But against Greninja, she's going to be like, the one forced to approach. Right, because uh, you know Greninja's speed is just going to kind of overwhelm her a little bit. Mm -hmm. Really hard to deal with that, especially when he, she's just trying to camp. Trying to play Peach the way he wants to. As you see, we have DK Doomman struggle, kind of struggling to get the kill while uh, Nickel Cat's slowly wrecking on this damage. Not even slowly, actually pretty fast. Right, we're at 61. This is a pretty comfortable lead for DK Doomman right now. Yeah, he's racked up some nice extra credit. All right. I like that option DK Doomman to cover the recovery. Up smash? Maybe. I oh, mean, that was smart. He just waited to go back and right. multi hit. Excellent patience from Nick. Oh so no! Nice read. Catches the air dodge and the game with it. And that's a two stock for Nick. Or Nick's cats, whatever he wants. So I can tell, I don't think DK Dudeman probably has a lot of. Good experience? Yeah, it doesn't I seem like he has the matchup down. I could see that, but also like, also like we said earlier, like first stock looked really even, but then Nickel Cat got the first kill and everything just kind of went downhill for DK Dudeman then. I feel like if DK Dudeman gets the first kill, it could be like the exact opposite of what we just saw. Like of him just, you know, taking off of the lead. See, they're going right back to Smashville because he's confident if he gets the first kill, he can do the same thing in the cat. It's absolutely insane how quickly Peaches can turn around matches. You're absolutely right. That Rage Fair, oh my, that'll kill you at 60. Absolutely, and that's exactly what we mean when we say how quickly this can turn around with a yep. stock, you know. Uh, that early, cur uh, she has a lot of early kill power. So we'll see, and Greninja, rather light, will die early to these sort of things, especially on Smashville. Mm -hmm. All right, just uh, doing what he needs to do and try to get pressure Nick off stage. Put him in a corner. He knows he wants neutral back. He's trying not to let him have it. Well, he's going to get it, though. Greninja is so good at getting back neutral. He has a lot of ways just to like get back in center stage. Right, and that's one of the problems DK Doom is going to have to adapt and deal with. Yeah. Ooh, these conversions my note cat are insane. Oh, I think uh, I find that Greninja is one of the most like underdeveloped characters in the game for that reason. Like some of everything combos and everything, his data is so good. Mm -hmm. it, people just don't understand how much he can actually do. You see, I like how Nilcat's doing these short hop uh, water hurricanes to keep Peach out of the air. Yeah, absolutely, and that's exactly what you want to do is just kind of put out anti aerials and just kind of counter her air game because that's really all she has. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get knocked out on the ground. So he's playing this matchup right. Yep, but right now it looks like about the same as uh, first game. Oh, oh my. Down here to forward air. Yeah, a absolutely a phenomenal conversion. Most things can actually, uh, for Greninja, a lot of things uh, move right into fair. Yep. Kind of like a chic s kind of game style. Yeah, like, but now like, fair will definitely kill. Ooh, either fair, actually, I think would kill. It's one of his best coat options for sure. I do like that use of Nair there. It's so safe on shield if you space it right. I think um, when Greninja uses a down throw and the DI wrong, it's a 50-50 if Greninja uses the air dodge to get a fair or not. Oh, no, he should re-grab. Yeah, absolutely. We saw that actually take a stock earlier, I believe. Or it did massive damage if it didn't take the stock. Yeah. Like, Greninja takes just so much damage. 
You see, that would have killed Melee. Right now, though, DK Dooman is, is keeping his stock. He's surviving here, keeping us alive. But oh! He takes the first stock. Absolutely. Now, that's, this is what I'm curious about. How quick will Nickelhead be able to take the next stock? Right. Now, just like this could be a reversal of fortune, like you said earlier. Now that DK Dooman has the stock, can he build this lead and just kind of run away with it? But 150? It's going to take one. Yep. There. Oh. All 160. Right. This is uh, almost off throw kill percentage for uh, Greninja. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's his only kill throw. It is. All right, and he's going for it, too. Yep, he's that'll do it. it. You see, Nickel Cat got that uh, stock pass just because of how much damage Peach was already at before uh, Nickel Cat died. Absolutely. Now Nickel Cat roaring back. But we got an even game right now. Oh, these fares. So just, much damage. He's just stringing it together. I always ask myself, how is, how is Mario alive? How is Mario alive? How's that man living? The amount of times he's probably been slapped by her. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> that escalated quickly. A powerful woman. She is. She can fend for herself, honestly. I don't know how she gets kidnapped by that low tier trash Bowser. Right? I guess right, not low tier though. in this game, but still. Right, he's pretty sneaky fast. Oh! Oh, he went for the jab reset. Or yeah, whatever. he almost got a trap out of that. Yep. It's the little things of Greninja. This matchup keeps going back and forth. It just becomes so even. Oh, I feel like uh, Nick or uh, DK Dudeman missed an optimal punish right there. Oh. Up the rubber? Mm. Oh, he, okay. he was patient enough. The up oh, smash will wow. do it, though. Non-stop pressure from Nick. Yep, that. that was very. He made some very smart decisions there. Right. We saw a great amount of patience and really just really negated Peach in the air so well. Mm-hmm.